Hey everyone, today I'll show you the best settings for Grounded 2, covering both in-game options and Windows optimization. Let's start with the in-game settings. First up is Window Mode. Set this to Windowed Full Screen, as it allows for quicker alt-tabbing between your game and other applications without causing crashes or black screens. Next is Resolution. You should match this to your monitor's native resolution for the sharpest image. For example, if you have a 1440p monitor, select 2560 by 1440. Render scale is a crucial setting. I recommend setting it to 60% for a balanced experience as it significantly impacts performance. A lower value here can give you more frames per second, making the game smoother. For quality, choose low. While it might reduce visual fidelity, it will greatly improve your frame rate. More frames mean a more responsive and enjoyable gaming experience. Frame rate limit should be set to 120. This caps your frames, which can help prevent your GPU from overworking and causing unnecessary heat. Depth of field blur should be set to low. This setting blurs objects that are out of focus, and turning it down can improve your frame rate without much visual loss. VSync should be turned off. Enabling VSync tries to sync your game's frame rate with your monitor's refresh rate, but it can often introduce input lag, making your controls feel less responsive. Gamma should be set to 38%. This controls the overall brightness of the game, and adjusting it to your preference can make it easier to see in darker areas. Motion blur should be set to 0%. This effect can make the game look blurry during fast movements, and turning it off will give you a clearer image. Chromatic aberration should be turned off. This visual effect can create a fringe of color around objects, and disabling it can make the image appear sharper. Finally, Field of View, or FOV, should be set to 90. This determines how much of the game world you can see on your screen. A wider FOV can help you spot enemies more easily. Now let's dive into some Windows optimization tips. First, we'll configure Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. This gives you manual control over how your system handles memory. Then, select your C drive and choose Custom Size. Set the initial size to 30,000 megabytes and the maximum size to 30,000 megabytes. This creates a fixed size paging file, which can lead to more stable performance by preventing Windows from constantly resizing it. Click Set to apply these changes. Next, let's adjust your power options. Select High Performance as your preferred plan. This setting prioritizes performance over power saving, ensuring your computer runs at its peak. Lastly, let's look at Game Mode. Go to your Windows settings and search for Game Mode. Make sure Game Mode is turned on. This feature optimizes your PC for play by automatically turning off background processes, which helps dedicate more resources to your game. And that's just the beginning. Now I'm about to show you some amazing optimization options that most people don't even know about. This isn't stuff you'll find on a random forum. These are pro-level tweaks available only here. And don't worry, every single thing I'm about to show you is 100% safe. You can always go back to your old settings if you're not completely blown away by the results. And I'll even show you exactly how to make sure everything is secure. This pack is engineered to fix everything that holds you back. Frustrating FPS drops, high latency, annoying lag, stuttering, network problems, and so much more. Now, you could try to do all this manually, but that's a huge risk. Honestly, it's like performing surgery on your own computer. One wrong setting, just one mistake, and your whole system can become unstable. Things can get much, much worse. That's exactly why I created the FPS Boost Premium 2025 pack. I've spent thousands of hours perfecting these optimizations so that you can get the ultimate competitive edge with just a few clicks. 100% safely. This isn't just a random collection of files. It's a complete performance framework already trusted by over 800 gamers worldwide, and it's available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's dive in.
Thank you.